Thank you to all you brothers and sisters that help out in many ways. We're doing this together, everyone, with our Lord Jesus Christ as the leader, as our Lord and Savior, the band Red Hot Chili Peppers. Anthony Kiedis here. He was on the MTV Awards and he liked to thank Satan, he says, but he's just joking around, right? He is doing one eye symbolism here, having one eye revealed. The same thing here, using a photo to darken one eye, to have one eye symbolism on purpose. He's doing one eye symbolism here again. He's on a magazine with one eye showing and one eye darkened. He's on a magazine with one eye showing and one eye darkened. He's hiding his hand the way a Freemason would do. He's hiding his hand the way a Freemason would do. He's a master of the second veil. <laughs> Hiding his hand the way a Freemason would do. Wearing the Freemason checkerboard. Here is Flea, the bass player of Red Hot Chili Peppers, doing the slam dunk pose where he covers one eye and half his face darkens one eye, has one eye symbolism in this biblical world. He's doing it again here with a fist, but he has love on his knuckles. So he's a good guy, right? So he's blocking one eye, darkening one eye, has one eye revealed. He's using some flowers to darken one eye and have one eye symbolism. He's doing the devil horns as in Satan. Drummer Chad Smith is doing the devil horns as in Satan. Here's the whole group. Flea is doing 666 over one eye. John Frusciante is doing the devil horns. Chad Smith is hanging out. And Anthony Kiedis is making a cross with his middle fingers. John Frusciante doing one eye symbolism where he's blocking one eye on purpose, darkening one eye in this biblical world. Thanks to our brother at Mateus channel, he found the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. I guess John Frusciante doesn't need Jesus Christ or anything. He has extreme enlightenment. And if we weren't sure, he's doing it again here. Extreme enlightenment, the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. He just so happens to mock and blaspheme the Lord Jesus Christ here. And why not pretend to be him on the cross? I'm sure it's all in good intentions, right? This world is terrible. Right? Like most of you, I grew up with this kind of music being like, oh yeah, they must just be really talented and whatever. But we found out that people that get pushed in the media and more have sold out, whether they have sold their souls for rock and roll or whether they're just siding with the devil because they get fame and fortune and, you know, stuff that doesn't matter, that no one's guaranteed tomorrow, you don't take it with you. Salvation is important every single second of every day. If you are someone that does not have salvation or you are unsure, do you see how the world mocks not Buddha and Krishna and blah 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 blah? Nope, the real true living God, our Father in heaven, our Lord Jesus Christ. Please have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ today and see what this world is. God bless you.